All right, so the main difference on the actual exam, this is going to have two reactants and two products. One on the, the exam tomorrow only has two reactants and one product. So that might not seem like that big a deal, but it actually does make it easier. So spend a, a couple more minutes trying this. You may want to look back in your notes if you have them. Um, we did not do this in class. We did it on the Christmas video assignment. All right, so the first thing was to balance it out. I hope you're okay with that. It was a combustion reaction. They all ended up even, so I just reduced them, and I just had it memorized. So. Um, all right, total pressure inside the flask before the reaction happens. We know PIV, NERT, so PV equals NRT, so P equals NRT over V, correct? Is except for N. So you find the total number of moles of your oxygen. So you take 5 and divide it by 32. Are we okay with that? So 5 over 32. And you're going to add that to uh, 4 over 16. All right. So that's just 1 fourth. Oh, sorry. I, I looked at that number right there. 5 30 seconds plus 5 sixteenths. All right. 30 seconds. But you don't. But what's the math? When you add the moles, you get the total of? Like what? 4 6 9. Yeah. Okay. So that's your. So I'm going to take that 0.469. I'm going to multiply by 0 0.0821. I'm going to multiply that by the temperature, 98 Kelvin, by the volume, which was 4. Sound okay so far? All right. And what did you get? Was this the 2.8 something or something? All right, 2.87. Sounds good to me. Who successfully navigated that part of the problem? <laughs> oh, you're so bad. If you can't. Love all of you, of course. That's like eight people just raised their hand. To go from grams to pivner is should be simple. Convert to moles into PV equals NRT. And you have your answer. Paul. Oh. Okay. Um, all right. Letter A and B. Here we go. Letter C. I'm going to arrange. Letter C. It says use vapor pressure to convert to moles of water and then multiply by 18 grams. Okay. Part or set then Pivner. That was part. All right, so here we go. I'm going to erase that. So 23.76 equals what? Anyone? What? Someone's got to be louder. I'm getting old. Okay, thank you. Yes. We we do subtract um, in another part, but not here. Uh, yeah, I know. That was her. Okay, fine. <laughs> She's too nice to have attitude. But I sensed it. All right. The reason why we don't have to subtract here, this question isn't asking about anything except water vapor, which is that small value. So if it was asking for the pressure of just, then we'd have to subtract. But it's just this. All right, so we're solving for moles. If PV equals NRT, that's an F. <laughs> oh, gosh. NRT, 
that's terrible, whatever, then N is equal to PV over RT. Okay, so here we go. I now have all the values. I'm going to plug them this way. Like 0, 3, 1, 2, 6. Adrian, did I hear you say you did it upside down? Everyone does it upside down for some reason. Okay, be careful with your algebra. And I know not everyone does, but it's very common that you, you know chemistry and then you make a simple algebra problem. The volume is still the same as 4. It's a cost. 2, 1. And your temperature is 298 because it was returned to that temperature after it created heat. That would give me probably a very number. You want to back that up? 0.005. Now, this question is asking for mass. That's why that last part of that sentence said to multiply by 18. 0.00213. Anyone have that number? This should be 0 0.09 grams, right? Okay. We all right so far? Is there anyone that had that number right? Raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what rhymes with eight? Great. Okay. If, listen, we're good. If we're solving and we're in chapter 10, what's the relationship? It's one of the letters in Pivner. It's N. If it says anything about mass, there is no mass in Pivner, right? But there's moles. The N is the mole value. Use N. All right. Now that one is tricky, so I'm not crushed, but hopefully more than eight can do it tomorrow. Yes. Not necessarily. He has a decent point here. Like he's not thinking crazy or anything. So we have this flask. All right. This reaction happened. And when this reaction happens, it actually creates all gas. But then it's returned to 25 degrees Celsius. And at room temperature, we know most of water is a liquid. You with me? So created a liquid, but at 25% or 25 degrees, this tiny amount, or the moles, this number, that's the amount of moles that will evaporate and stay as a gas in your container. The vapor pressure will tell you the moles, which will tell you the mass. Does that answer that? Okay. There is liquid in this. That's this question right here, right? Okay. Then part D, part D here, so I'm hoping more than a few people raise their hands. Part D, which reactant is in excess and how many grams of it remain at equilibrium? Um, so we had CH4 plus 2O2 goes to CO2 plus 2H2O, is that right? Okay. All right, so we're going to have a 1 to 2 ratio here. And I have 5 grams of each. We already had the moles, but I erased it. So we had 5 over 32, and we had 5 over 16. Is that right? All right, so is the answer none? Okay, how dumb was that? All right, so here we go. We had, what's 5 30 seconds? Point what? And 5 sixteenths would probably be twice that value. 313. I'm going to say 312. Okay. 
I don't think I've done this to you all year, have I? It actually should make this problem easier. You know why? There is no excess reactant. Okay? But it's fine. Here we go. So you got to ask yourself, this is O2, correct? This is CH4. You got to ask yourselves, um, do I have that backwards? Okay. I've changed my mind. This number is 0.312, right? Sorry. 0 0.312, and this is 0.156. So I've changed my mind. There is a limiting reaction. Sorry. I was foreshadowing something that didn't happen. If it was the other way around, if it was the other way around, there would not be a limiting reaction. My fault. So here we go. Because we would ask ourselves this. Is this two times bigger than that number? No. So that means this is my limiting reactant. Correct? Sorry. I thought it was the other way around. We were going to be... The excess is CH4. How many grams are remaining at equilibrium? Okay. So we have our moles of CH4. We know O2 is going to go to zero, right? All right. For every two of these, I use one of those, right? So I use half the amount. I'm sticking with moles right now. Isaac, he's right. I'm right. He's just gone one farther step and made it in grams already. I'm sticking with moles. So, for every two of them, we use one of these, right? All right. Which means I use half of the amount of this value of this so I divide this number in half, and what's that equal? Point what? Zero seven three. Eight, that's what I said. Okay. Now, that's the amount used of CH4. So initially I had this. I now have to subtract 0 0.0758. And what does that equal? Oh, just 078. Sorry, thank you. Doing great right here. What? 234? That's convenient. All right, now that is the amount. Excess CH4. Okay, and that's in moles. Now we want it in grams. So we're going to multiply it by 16. Three point what? Three point seven four grams. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Did anyone have that number? One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. <laughs> Should have dropped this class. Five, six. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, all right. That's the excess grams.
This number right here is important. Do you know why? Does Pivner, Pivner use grams? Never. It always uses moles. That's where N comes to town. Okay. So now, at equilibrium, what are the gases in the container? We now know there is CH4. Is there any oxygen? No. Is there water? Yes, there's water vapor. And on an earlier problem, we found the moles of water vapor. I've erased it, but you have that number on your paper. All right, is there any CO2? Is carbon dioxide a gas at room temperature? Yes. So, so far, that's the only thing I'm missing. So now, you're going to love it, but we're going to do a picket fence. Okay, I've got to get closer. It's not working anymore. So we're going to solve for moles of CO2 produced in this reaction. So my limiting reaction is the amount of oxygen. 0.156, correct? 0.156 moles of O2. And I'm solving for moles of CO2. All you need to know is the ratio. You have a 2 in front of O2 and a 1 in front of CO2. So 2 moles of O2, 1 mole CO2. And we'll get a number that we've also seen before. And that was the 0.78, right? Or 0.078. Okay, now I'm close. Uh, 0 0.078. Look up in your your example. Thank you. We had 0 0.005 moles of water vapor. Yeah. This? That was the amount of moles of oxygen in the first place, or the moles of my limiting reactant. All right, and then CH4, we just said, was 0.234. All right, what do we do once we have all the moles? Add them all together, and then... Pivner, that mother, right? So, will you add those together and Pivner it? There's what? Good water, but that will not contribute to the pressure. It does decrease the total volume, but unless it tells you, you just assume that's the <coughs> Yeah. We're solving for the total pressure at the end. One point nine three, anyone back that up? Awesome was that. What? <laughs> he took all that crap. You tell me it was easier? Oh, the Pivner crap. Okay, well that should have been easy on B and only eight people raised their hands. Uh, I was concerned. Um, all right, that was awesome. Hey, bonus question. 
after the reaction, is there any liquid water remaining in the flask? If so, how many grams? If not, then why? So is there liquid water? Probably. All right. There definitely is. All right. So how the heck do you solve for that? It's not as bad as you think. All right. Picket fence. About 156 moles of O2. Why did I use that number again? Because that's your limiting reactant. This is the worst picket fence angle of all time, but whatever. So now we got moles of H2O we're solving for. There was a 2 in front of O2. There's a 2 in front of H2O as well, is there not? In the balanced equation is where I'm getting these numbers. All right, so this is the same value, 0.156 moles of water total. But... 0 0.005 of those moles were vapor. Remember that number? Okay, so I have to subtract 0 0.005 and I get 0 0.151, which I then multiply by 18. And that will tell me the total mass of water liquid. 6.7. Two point seven. Okay, I literally am losing my hair. I gotta go get my hair checked. Um. Well, that was awesome. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Um, we should do another one. Who? Anyone have two point seven? After I told you how to do it. Okay. Got you. All right. Hey, I've had things go worse in this class. I don't remember when, but I'm sure I have. Um, hmm. Well, let's, how about this? How many balance the reaction correctly? Raise your hands. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And Allison. I almost swore in a positive lab we just did. Okay, when solving for molar mass, that's the capital M. M equals dRT over P. D is uh, 1.2 grams per 0.155. R is 0 0.0821. Um, T was 298. P was 2.1. When you plug that in, you got 90. Is that what you said? Who's weight what in me? Where did I lose you? Okay. It's 90-ish grams. Okay. Then, like I warned you, I, I made this up, so it probably won't work perfect. But to find the formula, you divide by 12, and you get 7 point something. All right. And so that tells you most likely there's 7 carbons. And then you would multiply that by 2 and add 2, and you get 16. Now, that does not add up to 90, which doesn't shock me. I made the numbers up. Uh-huh. It adds up a lot better. Most likely, it would be. And here's the real deal. If, if you're over... <laughs> this is between a couple. When you get a larger mass, but I won't do that to you. But here we go. Anyway, you just have seven C's and a bunch of H's everywhere. Is that one going to be okay on your exam? How many feel good about that one? Raise your hands. One, two, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I would have quit my freaking job. Okay, I'm not testing you tomorrow, but do something to make yourself better between today and tomorrow. How about you do this? Yeah, I certainly would. Here and you can take a picture of it. Where the freak is it? Oh my geez Louise. Okay, here we go. I said eight for oxygen, right? Yeah. Alright, so this is gonna be an eight. And I said ten for this. Okay, try those. <laughs> 